In this video, we're looking at four different types of jetpacks. So strap in because we're flying high. You're probably aware that jetpacks are now real, but you might not know that the first public flight took place in 1961. The Bell rocket belt was hydrogen peroxide powered and only provided 30 seconds of flight. We've come a long way since then, and today's models are capable of remarkable distances and serious altitude not meant for the faint of heart. The first device we're going to look at isn't a jetpack so much as a hoverboard. It's called the Flyboard Air. Invented by Frenchman Frankie Zapata, the Flyboard Air is a turboprop board with an advanced stabilization system and five turbines with built-in redundancy. The device can continue operating normally if a single engine fails, and if two engines lose power, the board will automatically make a controlled landing. The website claims it has a max speed of almost 125 miles an hour and a carrying capacity of 265 pounds and a total flight time of 10 minutes. Once it's fully developed, they expect to have a max altitude of 3,000 meters, which is almost 10,000 feet. In 2015, Frankie Zapata and his flyboard made headlines twice when he appeared at France's military parade and when he crossed the English Channel. The channel crossing required that he stop halfway to land on a boat to refuel, taking a total of 22 minutes to make the crossing. It was the second attempt, the first one he missed the refueling platform and crashed in the water. The flyboard air isn't for sale yet, but on one site you can place a pre-order for a price of $360,000. Next up we have Jetpack Aviation's JB-10, invented by Americans David Maiman and Nelson Tyler. The JB-10 is a jetpack in every sense of the word. It's powered by two modified turbojet engines, each producing around 200 pounds of thrust. It runs on kerosene, diesel, or Jet A jet fuel. It has a flight time of 8 minutes, a max altitude of 15,000 feet, and a max speed of 125 miles an hour. The jetpack is controlled by the pilot vectoring the entire engine, which allows for improved maneuverability and speed control. There are two versions of the JB-10. An ultralight, which is speed and fuel limited and doesn't require a pilot's license, and the experimental version, which requires both a pilot's license and that the user be trained and signed off by JPA. They have a training school in Southern California where you can practice flying with a jetpack tethered to a guideline. Currently, they offer a two-day course for $5,000. Jetpack Aviation also has the JB-11 model, which has six turbojet engines capable of 90 pounds of thrust each. The main advantage is the JB-11 model has engine redundancy, so that if an engine fails, you're still able to maintain control and land. The company website doesn't have prices listed publicly, but according to the site evtoll.news, the price for the JB-10 is almost $300,000 and the JB-11 goes for $340,000. The next device on the list is Gravity Industries Jet Suit, built by Richard Browning from the UK. The Jet Suit has two small jet turbines on each arm and one in the backpack, providing 317 pounds of thrust and a maximum flight time of 8 minutes. The Mark III version currently has a speed record of 85 miles an hour and runs on diesel or Jet A1 jet fuel. The first models from 2017 had jet turbines on each leg, but this caused several problems including exhaust from the turbines on the arm getting into the intake of the lower engines, shutting them down. It also caused balance issues with the legs wanting to flail about. Both problems were solved by combining the leg turbines into a single turbine placed in the backpack. The company released quite a few videos last year showing how the jet suit can be used for mountain rescue teams and special forces to quickly investigate and board ships at sea. To speed up development, the makers are looking into creating a jet suit racing league. Definitely something to look forward to. As for the price, the jet suit can be yours for around $440,000. For getting around short distances or flying through a city, the previous jetpacks are perfect. But if you're looking to soar above the clouds, you're going to need something else. You're going to need a jet wing. Invented by Swiss military pilot Yves Rossi, the jet wing is a carbon fiber wing with four turbojet engines, each capable of 90 pounds of thrust. The system can reach heights of 20,000 feet speeds of over 250 miles an hour and fly for as long as 13 minutes. It's capable of hovering and thanks to vectoring the exhaust from the jet engine it's possible to take off vertically. It's also possible to take off from a plane, helicopter or base jumping. 
Yves Rossi crossed the English Channel in 2008 and in 2009 attempted to cross the Strait of Gibraltar, but as he arrived to within 3 miles of Spain, he lost his bearing in the clouds and had to jettison the jet wing, pulling his parachute to avoid crashing into the sea. He landed in the ocean and was picked up by helicopter 10 minutes later. The jet wing is remarkably simple to fly. Most maneuvers can be done just by moving your body and arms. Arching your head upwards increases the altitude and lowering your head causes you to descend. The roll and exhaust vectoring are controlled with a small joystick and the thrust is controlled by turning a dial. The result is a system with incredible agility. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully development continues and prices become more accessible. Who knows? Maybe jetpacks will become more commonplace in the not too distant future.